Good morning. Um, it is the 10th of February, Monday morning. Um, I just returned back yesterday from a nice little weekend with my wife. We went to a, um, a little resort town in uh, Pennsylvania, middle of Pennsylvania, called Bedford Springs. And uh, never been there before. It was really nice. Um, the weather wasn't too cold, so we got to go outside and walk around a little bit. Um, uh, but it the the facility is is amazing. It's over two hundred years old. There's been fifteen presidents have stayed there, um, and uh, Omni took it over, I guess, about fifteen years ago. And um, it's just it's phenomenal. Really traditional, like um, just it felt felt just comfortable, old school comfortable. I don't know. Um, but uh, it was really, really nice, really cool. Nice to get away and relax. The boys stayed uh, with family and friends um, over the weekend, and they enjoyed themselves. Um, but, you know, we had the opportunity to just kind of hang out, um, and it was great. Um, but the one thing that came to mind, because a place like that's not inexpensive, it was a nice Christmas gift for me from my wife, um, we did not take part in the massage aspect of it. Um, they have, you know, couples massages, hot stone massage, all that kind of stuff. Um, and they were around like 200 bucks per person and didn't quite see the value in it. And as we were walking around and doing things on, on the premises, like we went to, uh, we did a, a group meditation on, on Saturday, which was interesting. My first time ever doing that. Um, but we also went out to dinner, and the restaurants are, are a little on the pricey side. And the one restaurant got great reviews, and so um, you know we made reservations. And I never order steak out. I would much rather buy a really good cut of meat and grill it myself because I know I can do it the way I like it. And if I mess it up, it's my fault. That's kind of the way I look at it. And I look at a lot of things that way. But um, you know, so we went out to dinner, and. Um, we ordered this steak. I ordered a steak, and it was like fifty-five bucks for a steak, which I don't think I've ever paid that much for a steak. But the reviews were incredible, and I got it, and it was just like any other steak that I could have made for myself. I was really disappointed in that steak. Um, but my point is this: is that like we chose not to get the massages, basically because I've never had a massage before, aside from at my chiropractor, and um, I figured that. I don't know that I could understand $220 in value of a massage. Maybe I should first go to a, like a local massage envy or something and pay 50 and see if that's worthwhile for me. And then maybe next time we ever go to a place like this, I might see more value in it. Um, you know, the, the, the steak, you know, I don't want to pay for anything that I feel like I can do myself better. Um, and it, we can take this into anything. You know, like we, we talk about it all the time here at Define Life. You know, how do we give people more value? Um, but I think it can also go into relationships. I, I think it has to go into relationships. Um, you know, when, when uh, couples or friends or business associates offer each other equal value, um, uh, in the, when, there's, when there's equity in that relationship, then the relationship is healthy and the relationship uh, goes well, and both people grow within it. Um, but when there is somebody in the relationship not offering value, when there is somebody in the relationship that's constantly taking and taking and taking, it's when it becomes toxic, it's when it can become abusive. Um, it's those types of relationships that um, one person, it, well, both people are prob probably suffering, but one person... Uh, is feeling drained constantly because the other is always taking and taking and not giving anything back. So I get my recommendation for this week, and, and you know, after th thinking about this for the past couple of days, uh, the way I handle it is that I would I look at the relationships that I'm involved with and identifying who um, I'm not giving the proper amount of value to, but then I'm also looking at the relationships that are taking more value from me 
uh, than than it offers my than it offers me. So um, you know you can you can you ch- exchange value for energy or consideration or caring or love or um, you know whatever whatever however you want to say it. A lot of people might react harshly to value, uh, but it's the truth. It's it's a it's you know the best relationships are those those good relationships where both people get and give in an equitable manner. And when 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 one person is not now there are seasons right. Some people might be going through a hard time, and that's something that's okay because over long term, you know, we're getting you know equitable value. Um, but when it becomes a toxic relationship or an unbalanced relationship, is when um, it it it's not good, and we have to kind of reevaluate and and maybe approach that person and say something, um, or decide whether that relationship is is not worth going forward anymore. Now you uh, might think about relationships with like where you're uh, donating time uh, if you're if you donate time to a charity to help the homeless or something like that, where you know that the individual can't provide value back. I would argue that the act of service is actually providing you value. So you can't kind of look at it all through the same exact lens, but there are, you know, you're, you're expending energy, you're giving more than you're receiving in a direct way, but you're still receiving, you know, the feeling of helping other people, of accomplishment, of, you know, all the, all the goodwill and things that, that people receive back. Um, and I've heard in the past that, like, there is no truly unselfish act. Uh, and that may be true, uh, you know, it's not something I really even care to argue, but um, I think that, you know, if you, you know, look without judgment, um, you know, at yourself and relationships um, and look at them, you know, understand that there needs to be an equitable value, um, then you start to, you start to understand the flow of energy and feelings and things, so... That's my deep thoughts for Monday. Um, hope everybody is doing well. I hope your weekend was good. I appreciate all the goodwill that I got on Thursday. Uh, I'm sorry my migraine took over, uh, and I still felt the effects of that for a day or two afterward. Um, but I had a nice relaxing weekend. I'm looking forward to getting started. Um, as always, coming back from a trip, I'm, I'm like tired from my vacation or my little trip, right? I'm tired from my relaxation. Uh, but, um, you know, uh, starting off today strong, uh, got my meditation in, got my reading done. Um, I'm all, I'm all prepped and ready to go and, uh, looking forward to having a great week. So I hope the same for you and, uh, I'll catch you again here tomorrow morning.